Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome to a highly requested video that most of y'all have been asking for. This is my load order. We're going to go through all the mods I currently have on my console. We're going to explain why I have them, what I like about them, you know, the purposes for them to exist in my load order and, you know, kind of the ordering of things, even though I didn't do any of that and we'll go over that as we go here. So let's load up the mods. This takes a long time. I'm on the Series X here. It's not actually loading. It's loading from the internet and Bethesda.net is slow. Like, that is not my fault. It's not necessarily Bethesda's fault. It's just, it is the circumstances of the deal. So, obviously, there's a lot of mods that I have on here that I want to state just right off the get-go that I have because I am going to cover. Like, they, I don't have any other reason other than having them in there to cover. So, first and foremost, we got the AWKCR. This is, I forget the what that stands for, but this is the Armorsmith Workbench and the Weaponsmith Workbench and all those things. And there's certain mods that you just need this mod for so I just leave it on there right I haven't covered an armor or weapon that has required this in a long time but I remember there's like a gun like the vector I think you needed the weaponsmith workbench for and there's definitely some armors in there that you definitely need this mod for so I just kind of leave it on there even though you know it's decently large whatever we have the unofficial Fallout 4 patch I think everybody should have this on there I know some people have the argument they're like this is not necessary or whatever and it maybe may actually hurts your game and stuff for my opinion you just leave that thing on there it's not hurting it that much if it hurts it at all, right? I think it actually does make a lot of improvements. Cheat terminal, this is a big one for me anyway. Um, obviously, if you have no intentions of cheating, you don't need this stuff, but the cheat terminal is how I essentially do all my things when it comes to making videos and stuff. Like a little big behind the scenes. So you leave the cheat terminal up. Um, you can give yourself all the specials. You can, I like to max out my specials. I like to give myself the perks that are important for crafting anything. You can also give yourself items like all the crafting stuff you possibly need. So that way I can actually craft these mods without actually having to spend like hours of my time going to look for them in the world, right? It's just, and then you can cheat and stuff. I don't do any of these cheats and stuff. You can give yourself, you know, perfect accuracy stuff. I like to show off the game in kind of its raw form, right? Where, like, this is how the weapon would do. It, even at high level, because I imagine most people are high level. You guys can let me know if you're not and stuff. You can give yourself levels and stuff. You can give yourself the companion perks. Um, I do a lot of world manipulation here. I like to make the weather clear for my videos, right? So this is very important for that. I also like to make it usually, um, I don't like to change the date and time. Um, I do like to change the time though. Usually I'd set the time to, to nine in the morning. I don't know. I probably already is because I like to do that for the videos. Make it nice and clear, sunny, nine, nine a.m. in the morning. And then that's, so all this stuff is what I mostly use the cheat terminal portable for, right? Give myself things. Like, especially if it's like, hey, you need to cry later to craft this thing or some kind of, like, rare weapon. <clears throat> you can give yourself that rare weapon for free and all that. So that's that's why I have the cheat terminal. That's that's one that stays on. But mostly for my purposes of creating videos. Like, I don't, I, like, if I was to just play Fallout 4, I wouldn't use it at all. I don't cheat. Like, it's cheating because it's, it's, it's in the name. Um, I'm not a big fan of people who cheat. Even in single-player games, it's just my opinion and stuff. You, you're not playing the game right. Like, I was a kid back in the day. You played your Grand Theft Autos and stuff, and you hit all those cheat codes with all the bumper buttons and all that stuff, right? And then you give yourself infinite ammo and stuff. But I find that boring. There's no challenge to that and stuff. There's plenty of exploration here. I haven't covered this mod yet. This mod adds a bunch of interiors and stuff you can go into. I haven't gone enough to enough interiors. I haven't played Fallout 4 enough since I've downloaded this mod to cover it and feel like I know exactly what it's talking about. See-through scopes is just is a requirement for certain mods. And it's just, it's just better. <laughs> See-through scopes are just better than the game's base scopes, right? So just leave that thing on there. Um, another life alternate start mod is just to get the game going faster every time I start a new character and stuff. It's just, it, if you've beaten the game before, I recommend this one, even though it does cause some issues and stuff, completing the game and stuff. But for, for the purposes of mods and stuff, for covering mods, to be able to start the game quicker is very convenient. <laughs> um, I got realistic sound here. This is a sound mod that adds um it says reverberation effect you know you can hear guns a little bit better in the distance and stuff it's just a sound mod it's the one that i like it's the one that i put on there um there's maybe better ones or worse ones um there's a variety but this is the one that i have i don't know why i have it even like <laughs> this is a big situation it's like it's just because i left it on there it's the one i have um i got vol booty for you know booty purposes it makes the booty look good and people like to click on videos where the booty looks good i don't know man <laughs> like it's just, it's just that's this is the deal um touch of life complete this is a big one people i haven't covered this mod in a video um because it's kind of hard to cover because it does a lot of little tweaks and things but the main tweak that people always ask me all the time for is how do you get your field of view so high why is your pit boy so far away and you're from your camera and stuff and that's, this is the touch of life complete mod um 
that gives you the higher field of view only when you start a new game though so like this is my pit boy that's zoomed out zoomed in right higher field of view than you would normally get um i think that's huge field of view is really important to me especially on these next gen consoles and stuff um to be able to do that i was i mean i've been doing field of view since the xbox one x um but it is important to me sun's at a nice angle and stuff so yeah that's the field of view mod but it, like i said it only works for fresh saves after you have downloaded it so it doesn't work on something like you can't have like a save file that you've finished and stuff and actually be able to increase the field of view so i don't know right like it's it's i understand why i can't do that it's like a, you know it's a limitation of just the way this thing engine works and stuff but that's that's that i have the cross cut go overhaul this makes it so things melt when they die like all every, you can you can set it up in the settings there's like a settings thing uh hollow tape that you can get and you can mess with it and stuff but it makes it so normally when you crit things melt which is how it kind of worked in previous games and stuff um but you can make it so every time you kill anything with a laser or plasma weapon they goofy or melt or turn to ash and all that stuff and i think that's just a cool and it's like it makes the effect look better as well so i think that's just good if you're going to use laser weapons smoke grenade is just a mod that's sitting in here that i haven't covered yet i would like to cover i think it's an interesting thing see this is like because like it stops enemy combat for 10 seconds like like it makes you hidden or something i don't know i have to test that i haven't got to that yet armor smith extended obviously goes with the awkcr right it's just like you need the armor smith stuff cbe body it's the best like it's not even debatable like if you have a different opinion fight me because you're wrong like <laughs> type of deal it's just the cbe body is the best is a mary jane companion here who i have not covered yet but i intend to <laughs> that's 220 megabytes of space that i'm just eating up doing nothing i really should cover that mod um just so I can get rid of it too. I think a lot of these mods are just waiting to be covered and then I delete them because I have to make space for other mods. The Mannequin Cult is a big um, quest mod that I haven't covered. I don't even know how I'm going to cover that one because it's just going to be like an hour long video of a lot of things, right? But I will get to it at some point. Ballistic Weave Unlocked is a big deal. It's that way so I don't have to play through the, the railroad quest to see if um, armor mods can take Ballistic Weave. You could just have it unlocked from the very beginning of the game. I think it's important. Like, it's not, it's not in balance, because if you don't cheat and give yourself a bunch of um, ballistic fiber and stuff, then you're not going to have it at the very beginning of the game anyway. Um, you just, your character knows how to make ballistic weave. Uh, the Courier Duster, this is an armor mod I haven't covered yet. Um, new female animations, I haven't covered this one in the previous video. Um, I've just been trying to see what it's like. I haven't really noticed that much difference, to be honest. Locky Locks, this one is huge, huge. This is a mod that everybody should have on. I forget if I've made a video on this one or not. I've made a lot of mod videos in my time. Um, but this one allows you to pick locks. In a similar form uh, to Skyrim, I believe. I believe Skyrim has a system like this where, like, harder locks aren't, like, unable to do. Like, in, in the base Fallout 4, if you don't have advanced lock, you can't do advanced locks. With locky locks, you can do advanced locks. They're just harder. And, you know, right? Like, so, like, or expert locks. They're just really, really hard. But they can also make it so you can shoot locks off, which is actually unrealistic. But whatever, you can do that. And you can, you can blow open containers with explosives like a grenade or a mine whatever you happen to have equipped at the time and you can also kick open doors that are locked um you can get hurt though it hurts you like it's really balanced and it's really cool just like overall enhancement of the game this is one that i keep on for like forever because it's just so good it's really good it just, it just makes the game better it makes lock the locks system better because it allows you to tackle them in a variety of different ways i really like that you can kick doors down and then just pop in and start blowing people away if you want to not sneaky right there's different ways of dealing with locks this is the blood mist overall um i haven't covered this one in the video plan to um but this makes it so blood is more bloody um iron sight blur remover haven't covered this in the video it's a really simple mod though it just makes it so it doesn't blur when you aim with iron sights and then same thing with crafting so when you're in the crafting menu it doesn't blur the background it's just nice. It's just, I think they make these two uh, tiny mods and they make the game look nicer. Um, we got a pistol here I haven't covered yet. We're just not even going to go over that because I'll cover it in a whole full video. We got farming the waste here. This allows you to make plant things that normally aren't plants, like glowing funguses and all this stuff. I covered this in a video before. If you guys leave a comment too, let me know if you guys want links to the videos that I have covered uh, of mods that I have covered before and I will you know, link you to those, but that lets you farm a bunch of other stuff that you normally couldn't farm, which is pretty cool. This is the shrimp. It's another pistol I haven't covered yet. Um, knife expansion pack I haven't covered yet. Hermit crabs obviously are um, normally in the Far Harbor DLC, but this puts us in the, in the Commonwealth. Um, I've seen like, I think one since I've had the mod on. That's a really hard mod to cover because you don't know consistently where they're going to spawn and stuff. 
It's a outfit mod that I haven't covered yet. I'm sketchy to cover because it's very skimpy. You always gotta be worried about that stuff with YouTube. Um, this is another pistol I haven't covered yet. Um, this is EDE from Fallout New Vegas. Have not covered that yet. I'm gonna get to that. This is another companion. Companion mods are usually generally long because they usually come with quests and a lot of parts and stuff. And it, it becomes a lot harder to cover these mods because I don't have like infinite amount of time to make these videos. Um, this is uh, another BZW outfit mod. Probably covered like five of those after this point. This is like the last one I have left. And I'm getting to it. I got mantises from um, Fallout New Vegas. These things I have seen. Um, so I'm at the blood bank, usually where bugs spawn. So we'll cover that in a future video. There's, there's some cool things. It also lets you craft the mantis gauntlet. We'll get to that in its own video though. Heavy select shotgun is just another gun that I haven't covered yet because you have to go to the um, place where the people burn people. <laughs> I forget. The forge. The forge is the name of the gang type of people. Um, but they're like little steel smithing factory or whatever. That's where that is. I haven't gone there yet. Um, this is a better red dress. I haven't covered that one yet. Gunner outfit. Pistol that I haven't covered yet. Underwear replacer that I haven't covered yet. Like I said, that's another one where it's like YouTube gets real sketchy about that. So I want to cover these things because I think, you know, they're good. Potentially good. I haven't seen you know, really seen them too much, but they're there. Um, this Mirelux Nest new settlement. This is where I'm at right now. I like to have lots of new settlements in my game. I had one previously that was way closer to Diamond City. Uh, I forget what it was called. Some of these have problems. The one I had that was close to Diamond City, the, the enemies that, that live there, when you go to clear it out and can claim it for yourself, they would respawn the enemies. I haven't had the issue with this one, with Mirelux Nest. The Mirelux don't respawn and stuff. And, and, you know, I guess we'll show it because we're here. But you can also see the video for this. This is a nice little place. I like the look of this, right? Like, it's just so far south. You're so far away from all this other stuff. That's like the agility bobblehead, like right up over there. Um, wait, this is agility? I believe it's agility. Yeah, like we're way... Way, way, way down in the bottom part of the map. And, you know, it's just a settlement that I feel like I'm out of the way of stuff. I don't have any settlers here or do any of that bullshit. It's just some place, like, it's like the background setup of my videos. It's a nice looking place. But, yeah, I usually like to pick one settlement. This is the one I'm using right now. I don't have, like, a particular preference to it. I'm not, like, Super Shrek Ogre. I'm going to live in the swamp with this particular mod. But that's what's kind of going on. I like it. It's fine. I covered it recently and then I just didn't delete it because it's just like, oh, this is where I live now. I guess this is where I live now, type of meme shit. Um, but yeah, like, I could, I could, if I find another settlement, I'll probably get rid of this one. And then that's, this is how the, a lot of my mods work. And this is a particular to me situation. I, I, I find it weird because I have to cover these things. And so I delete them to cover new ones and make space and all these things. When most people just get to continue to use mods and they're just like, I use the ones I like and I don't have to worry about downloading new ones. As I say, show them to you and they're good. I got another gun here that I haven't covered yet. Um, this is my Zombies Arena Arcade mode. This is the, I mean, you've, if you've watched my videos before, you've seen this thing. It's like less than a megabyte, slightly, but still less than a megabyte. And um, it allows you to spawn enemies in three different locations. It allows me to test weapons without having to just like look at the map and be like, where's the enemies still spawned at? Have I cleared this area out yet? It just consistently lets me know. I have a place to fight enemies and show off guns in combat. That's what that exists for. I mean, maybe not for you. Maybe you don't find it fun. But for me, like, this is the thing. Very immersive noodles is something I just haven't covered. I did the water wheel power generators. I think those are interesting. It's a really tiny mod, too, so you can just leave it on there. Um, and it makes sense that you can get water power. Crawl out to Fallout is a... Uh, <laughs> it does a lot of different things here. We haven't covered this. This one's going to be a harder one to do. Um, but it changes up the difficulty of the game. It makes it a lot harder. So... Or easier, depending on how you would look at it, right? Like, a chain, it's a complete modifier of the game, but only on certain difficulties and stuff. It's not even applicable to the save file. Um, got a P94 plasma rifle. That's something we got to cover. That's a great gun. Um, this is Cyber Tattoos. It's a really small mod, and there's not enough tattoos in the game. And I really like Cyberpunk 2077, so that just explains all that away, right? Like, I really like, you know. The last words uh, is a gun from Destiny that we have to cover. Um, this is the Cross 2077, um, the Bassinet version, um, but it, this is the outfit that I'm currently wearing. It's a big mod, 142 megabytes for an uh, armor mod. It is high, um, but the female version uses CBE-based skin textures. That's really nice because obviously you use the CBE body. I currently have it on here. I have it customized to be red. I got like a nice little pink shirt on underneath, um, but this is this is your main Cyberpunk 2077 outfit, but it's a highly customizable. All the parts take ballistic weave. You can do some really cool things with the scanner, right? Like, it's just, it's, it's, I think Cyberpunk is my favorite game of all time, so I put the Cyberpunk armor as my, uh, as my armor mod in the game. I know some people don't like the crossover stuff, right? Some people don't like 
different like games crossing over with each other. I think the mods, I think you just fuck with it. I don't, I don't really have a preference, right? Like whatever. Like I'm not a huge immersion buff, right? But I, I have this outfit on. This is the one I have on a lot now, until I find a better one, or one that I like more. I, I you know, the, the big thing with this one is that its file size is so huge. So if I could find one with like a much smaller file size, I'd probably use that instead. That I liked a lot. I have to like it a lot. <laughs> this is the thing, and it's always a compromise. I bring this up in the vid the mod videos all the time, but. It's, the larger the file size, the nicer the textures are going to look, right? And texture quality can be important depending on all kinds of things. Like if you're playing on like a 1080p TV or monitor or whatever, right? Then you don't need as big a textures to make it look nice on your screen, right? Um, I currently play at uh, 1440p, not 4K. 4K, you really need nice textures, and then you got to download some fucking huge ass mods, right? Like I think 1440p, 1080p textures still look nice. 4K textures look extra nice, right? The game just works well, runs well. It's mostly for other games, though, because you can get the whole 120 frames per second here. This is the auto axe from um, Fallout 3. I'm really excited for this one. I haven't covered it. I don't know. I'm going to have to go get it, right? Um, haven't done that yet. This one's a big one. So this is my 60 frames per second mod, because I do run the game at 60 frames per second here on the Series X while I'm waiting for the official patch. Um, this one also increases the game to ultra settings. So... Uh, that increases uh, shadow distance, low distance, grass distance, um, law detail, all that stuff is increased to, to ultra on this mod. Um, but it can make the game, it does, it's not perfect 60 all the time, and then sometimes it drops, but you're also making the graphics quality higher. And I, I do that mainly for the purpose of making the mod videos look good. So that's that. And then we're pretty much in the situation of like mods. I just, I just downloaded some of the, like, so this one, the Pine Needle Rest Player Home. Player Home is always fun mods to cover. Um, they're always interesting and stuff. We're going to get to that one at some point. Like, you, this is really just a preview video of a lot of mods I've recovered. I downloaded, I believe, all the all rest of these five or so this morning because, you know, I, I check, like, weekly or so what mods are, like, in the most popular section. This is just behind the scenes, pop on top. This is how I work. I check the most popular section, and I look for new mods that I haven't covered yet. And I got these five, so prepare to see those in, in future videos and stuff. And that's pretty much it. That's the whole, that's all, that's all my mods. And I have 389.25 megabytes left. Um, so I have some space. So I could keep some of these if I really wanted to, right? And I, I, I do keep the ones. There's other, there's other weapons and stuff that I don't keep, but I really like and stuff too. So this is like a totally different video, right? That Like a totally different video would be like mods that I really, really like. And then I talk about why I really, really like them and why they're my favorite, right? Maybe I could do some top 10 videos at some point. I'll get to it. That's, that's going to be a lot of work, though. But, yeah, that's my load order. That's just nothing. I don't think it's that exciting. To me, it's not that exciting. Hopefully, guys, if you if you watch the whole video, you know, let me know down in the comment section down below. I appreciate that. If you guys have enjoyed, like the video, right? If you guys, you know, as always, if you guys have some mods that I haven't covered yet that you'd like to see me cover, by all means, comment that shit down below, too, and I will, you know, do my best. And then, you know, prepare to see some of these ones. That, like I said, like about half of my mods are just mods that I need to cover for videos. And that's, that's the reason they exist in my load order currently. They're not like something I keep on permanently. Most of the time I delete mods after I cover them. Unless I really, really like them. So, yeah, that's that. If you guys haven't already, and you're somehow watching this video, and you haven't been subscribed, and you don't, you know, like, I cover follow four mods, so subscribe so you can check out my videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day, whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.